Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Route One FM, and welcome to the new look man cave. In a way, as you can see, since our last video where I was sat on the sofa, I've completely done it out. So we've got new wallpaper up here. Look at that nice bit of brickwork. We've put in as well a worktop floating there, a floating worktop basically held on by four legs and a block to the wall we've we've kitted out as you can see from my twitter at route one fm you can see what i've been doing so we're gonna have obviously probably something on the wall uh to resemble for the video so and being my love of arsenal we're gonna have it on there so but we're back that is the main thing we are back making football manager content for you so without further ado if you can like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment below don't forget to hit me up on my socials at route one on twitter instagram tiktok youtube the lot i'm on several discords but i am now back i'm back making videos so it feels good to be back and it feels good to be here at sunderland still i'm still at sunderland let's have a look at what's been going on so I'm here, still here with the Sunderland team. Look at those kits. They're just absolutely fantastic. Made by the Kit Basher system. So we've gone with Nike this season. Um, hope you like them. Tell me what you think of them. Leave a comment below. But how well are we doing? Well, as you can see up there in the top, in the bar, basically, it tells you we are sixth in the Premiership so we ain't doing too bad with a media prediction of 19th so the team that's come up from the championship now back in the premiership we ain't doing too bad also congratulations to the irl team who have reached the playoff finals in league one so congratulations to them but we are here stadium malai and we're gonna i'm gonna bring to you two games this evening uh we're gonna their landmark occasions shall we say we've got my 300th game as a manager against manchester city as well as my 100th game here at sunderland against liverpool so without further ado let's get into the action and see how well we are doing so here we are in my 300th competitive game against Manchester City with Grealish on the attack saved by Trafford cleared by Wood but a free kick has been given Ruben with a foul De Bruyne Ruben who's been great this season since coming in from Arsenal gets himself sent off against Man City so we are down to 10 men so we're going to have to go very defensive Tenali trying to run the midfield with De Bruyne De Bruyne is trying to find little pockets of space Tenali with a long effort and Trafford just sees that go past the post again not much action from Sunderland at the minute with De Bruyne into Grealish Laporte coming up Pontoa Ruben there at the back Tenali Man City changed a lot Verts Lazaro I think that's Lazaro Martinez, Tenali, De Bruyne, Amiadi with a shot, and Trafford pushes it against the post before De Silva does it, and a nearly a defensive mix up there to obviously see Man City go 1 0 up. But we escape. That's the one thing what we've been doing this season. We've been escaping. Very lucky. Ganabi and Trafford playing against their old club. Yearwood, who's been fantastic since also coming in from Arsenal. A couple of former Arsenal players in the team. De Silva loses out, but wins it back. Balls across. Martinez. Martinez scores for Sunderland. It's 1-0 to the Black Cats. That is a turn up for the books. Sunderland lead 1-0. What a cracking start there. From the free kick, Grealish looking for Amiedi and it's just gone past the post. Grealish picks the ball and gives it back to the keeper. And from the free from the resulting goal kick, shall I say, clears well. 
Big shout out to Nathan Wood who come in from Aston Villa. Big money on him. Sunderland's record signing and he's been a solid player at the back this season. So if you ever get the chance to sign him, really good. I enjoyed seeing him in the England under-20s game uh, that I've been to recently. And he is going to be a good player. But Trafford again clears out long but no one up top so it's going to come straight back man city trying to do what they can bear in mind they've lost their manager now so and the rumor has it that zenadine zidane is the favorite to take the job but Grealish is in Grealish has put it in the net ref's going to var var and the ref has given it sunderland let Grealish in and Grealish scores and that's Looks like it's going to be the final whistle. We finish 1-1. Also, don't forget to get onto FM Base and pick up your copies of the FM Shortlist and the FM Journal. You can use a discount code of Root FM to get a 5% discount. So please put them in your collection. They work wonders to keep up with saves. Um, shortlist basically tells you a player profile basically you can leave all their strengths or weaknesses and obviously name all their details descriptions what positions they play and you've got enough for i think about 50 players in that and then the journal speaks for itself it gives you a running order of your manager's profile in there season one all your transfers ins and outs manager notes it's got discord information in there season reviews so please give them a look gonna leave a link below for my discount code you'll see it flash up on the screen at the bottom so hopefully they've got every football manager needs and here we are in my hundred game for Sunderland against Liverpool at Anfield of all places where again Liverpool one of the favourites we've got to put out a game here and Reina yes Claudio Reina's son Giovanni Reina is playing for Liverpool so is Haaland actually so on paper Liverpool should absolutely whitewash us basically um they got Lapity at right back even no space for Trent Alexander-Arnold to start off with but he gives it away there but we give it back Virgil van Dijk Regeri out wide to Reina. Reina comes back to Fabinho. Torre Fabinho. Reina looking for Haaland. Haaland with his first effort and Trafford saves. Erlen Haaland, who you would always bag on to score, just missed a one on one opportunity. Haaland again with a header and Trafford saves. Trafford being fantastic this season. Virgil. And what a save again by Trafford. It's turned into the Trafford show at the minute. He's a quality goalkeeper. Becker kicks out to Lapity. But Trafford, back to Woods. Woods pushing forward. Again, like I said in the last game, he's been a revelation. So is Higgins. Garabi. Greenwood didn't have the pace to get past the left back there at Liverpool. Ball goes long looking for Salah and De Silva. Cushions and back to Trafford. What can Trapper do now? Out to Christ. Christ and Woods becoming a good partnership with Neil sitting in front of him. Neil looking out for Higgins. They've become really good. I'm starting to get the green flowing lines with the team now. But it's been given away. Salah is in. Salah still at Liverpool with a shot. And he's just got the shot completely wrong. Went for the near post instead of the bar. Trafford to Christ. We're playing this on the deck. And then going long, looking for Moreno. Moreno can't get it. It comes out to Liverpool's left. Reino with a header. And Trafford again picks up the ball. They can't get it past the giant England, former England under 20 years national. I would love to get him in a national team now. And hopefully he starts to get a recollection of it. Moreno. Moreno looking for support. Back to Neil De Silva. De Silva to Ramon. Martinez to Granabi. Granabi through and Ramon's in. Ramon's round back up and there it is. It's a goal. It is a goal for Sunderland. Ramon Enrique has scored. Told you he is one to watch out for. Bursting from midfield. 
the Spaniard. So Sunderland lead 1-0 here against Liverpool. And come the second half, Salah. Salah is in, he's one-on-one, -on -one, and it's a save by Trafford again. And Liverpool can't do the follow-up to get it in the net. Woods. Woods bringing it forward again. Plays it long, looking for Martinez. But Troy picks it up. Salah. Salah in again, looking for Haaland. But nothing's coming off of it. Woods, Haaland. <laughs> Look at that, Haaland trying to break it down. Woods is playing triangles around him. But it goes back out to Gomez at the back with no one to get on it. Salah. Salah again on his left peg. Gets it in. And it's just gone past the far post from the resulting header. De Silva with a throw for Sunderland. Ramon De Silva again. Tries to clip it in and nearly caught Becquerel with that near post. So nearly got a deflection in. That would have been embarrassing for the keeper. Ball goes played long and look at this. Acres of room. Rayner is now in. Can he cross the ball? Crosses it in. And Trafford comes to collect again. This is why he should be in the England setup. Trafford plays it long. Looking for Martinez, but Virgil van Dijk gets the ball. Toyore into Haaland. Salah. Salah's in. And Salah's put it in the net, but the flag is up. The ref has disallowed it. Mo Salah's equaliser is not given. It is still Sunderland 1, Liverpool 0. God, this is... I'm doing wonders. When playing this game, I'm you got to picture yourself on that touchline. You are going nuts. Virgil van Dijk, you look at these stars that Liverpool got, and we're beating them 1-0 at the minute. It feels like Darren Bent scored with the uh, balloon ball again. Trent Ar Alexander Arnold trying to get in that, and Haaland with a header is narrowly over the bar. Martinez. Martinez tries to find turn, but it comes out. And Salah is in. He is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can they get back? And he misses. You would put money on Salah scoring, but he misses. Christ. Christ to Woods. Woods playing it long, but it's come back. Van, De Van Dyke got it in the Spectre. Spectre scores. It is now Liverpool 1, Sunderland 1. An equaliser, which was in the run of play for, for Liverpool. You couldn't ask for anything less than the, what the Sunderland team are doing. They're trying to play defensive and hit on the break. Torore from distant and Trafford again. He's turning into a, an unstoppable goalkeeper here. Torore from the corner. Plays it in. And it's come to nothing. Arnold picks it up. Moreno gives away a, a foul, but it's right on the edge of the box. Who's going to take it? Torore takes it in the Gomez. Back to Torore who hits it and it's gone over the bar for a corner. It's got a little dink on that. Torore again from the corner looking for someone and it's cleared. Salah won't be able to reach that one. Here we go. In the left back position, Virgil van Dijk. He's played him short. Kamara. Martinez. Martinez has scored. It's Sutherland 2. Liverpool 1. Oh my God, Martinez has just scored for Sunderland against the run of play, I will say. Turns. Turns. Are we going for a third? It would be great on my 100th game for Sunderland. Greenwood, Gnabry. Turns again. Greenwood. Ball gets played off to Neil. Neil looking for turns. Neil try, turns, tried to shot, but it got deflected away. Haaland. Haaland on the attack. Ball gets to play across Spectre again. And Trafford again. Give that man a champagne bottle. Because he's pulling out a man of the match performance. Torore looking for Haaland. And it comes to nothing. Looking for Salah. Gomez. Riga. Torre. And Moreno just comes in and whips the ball. And I think that is the final action of the game. It is... Liverpool 1, Sunderland 2, and that is where we are in the league. As you can see, we are 6th in the league. There, after 31 games, 17 wins, 
four draws, okay, 10 losses, goal difference of 13, 55 points. But you think we have just beaten, as you've just seen in the video, top of the table, Liverpool, which is fantastic. Man City sitting there in fourth. So we are amongst the big boys, if you could say. Um, looking down that league, notable like Arsenal down the bottom, Leicester down there flirting with relegation, but Bournemouth, Norwich, small teams come up. We're above Newcastle, which is brilliant for the northeast side of things. Um, going through the results side of things, you've what September unbeaten there. Brentford, Leicester, Peterborough in the cup, and Tottenham. We all won. We lost to Newcastle narrowly. Arsenal, we. 1-3-1 against Arsenal. We won 3-2 against Everton. Chelsea, we drew in the cup. We lost to Norwich. Again, look at that. Unbeaten in November. Four games in the league. Two goals conceded and all those goals scored, including a game against Chelsea, which we won. December weren't too great. Started off with a couple of defeats by Man United, Liverpool. Brought a couple back. And then the Christmas period, we lost two. But then on Boxing Day, 4-0 win against Arsenal. And then the 1-0 win to end the year against Newcastle, which was fantastic for the club. We started January very, very slow. Couple of draws, few defeats, including the third round of the FA Cup against Coventry. And the semi-final first leg against Everton. Oh, actually, we we went out of the semi-final stage of the EFL Cup. You've just seen the Man City game as well. Southampton, we come back and won 3-1. Fulham, we beat them 1-0. Lost a couple more in the league against West Ham Wolves. Then a 3-1 win against Bournemouth. You've just seen it. The game against Liverpool. And then we've just ended a 0-0 draw with Manchester United. So... In a way, with two, four, six, seven games of the season remaining, West Brom, Huddersfield, Chelsea, Brentford, Leeds, Tottenham, and we end the season against Leicester, it is going to be a nail-biting rest of the season in order to see if we make Europe and how far we can do this. And you, as you can see from the league positions, we have been constant in that top, top half, basically. I'm using a variation of the 4-3-3 now, so we're doing well. We're meeting board ex expectations, and I think the cost of that was the FA Cup. We could have done more. The Carabao Cup, we really done well hitting the semi-finals. So what else can we tell you? We can tell you about probably our top goal scorers. That's what we want to see as well. So our top goal scorer at the minute is Pablo Moreno. he come up with us from the championship. He's got 16 goals. Angel Martinez, our striker, who was going to be a backup striker, actually, in the league. Uh, he's got 13 goals. Sam Greenwood, England player, must be. He's got 11 goals. Jack Vale, he's gone out on loan. He's got six. Santiago Munez, he's got five so far. Harry Wilson's got three, so not big numbers in the way what I wanted but as you look down the list you see a lot of people putting the work in so guys what can I say Sunderland till we die we are going well we are doing brilliantly so if you haven't already please hit that thumbs up button give me a like on the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment tell me what your kits are like what and tell me where you think I'm going to finish it with the last seven games of the season. Don't forget also to go to the FM base and get your copies of the shortlist and the journal. They do wonders for your save to keep you up to date. No matter what you call it, football, soccer, football, just remember it's for the love of the game. And don't forget to check me out on my socials and I will see you next time.